everyone and welcome to this coloring tutorial for adults. The objective of this video is to learn how to start coloring in three simple and easy steps. First step, the choice of colors. The second step is how to structure the shadows and the light in the coloring. The third step is the application of Neocolor 2. Stay well until the end because I have some tips and tricks for you. Here are the colors that I choose in the Neocolor 2 and the Sergeant Art. I want to show you how I choose the colors. In the book Magical Down from Anna Carzon, here is the illustration chosen. Okay, the frog and the mice. I will color the two pages. I found this coloring very inspiring. I show you the color chart chosen to make this coloring. Step 1. How to choose your colors. I explain the process for this coloring. First, I will change the view camera and we will work with my iPad. Here we have four sample color palettes. I would like to say I'm very apologize for my bad English and my very bad accent. I chose number four because they are colors that I don't use often. They are also a lot of dark colors, so it went perfectly with the vibe I wanted to give the illustration. I must admit that I really like turquoise and I have never associated it with yellow and orange. In this image, we still have a lot of dark colors. I'm very interested in using the dark side in my illustration. You can go to the Pinterest app, type in color chart and you'll see a lot of color palettes. You just have to make your choice. You can save the pins you like in your account and come back if you have a lack of inspiration. I prepared my little color chart with Neo Color 2 as I usually do for my YouTube tutorial. Then, to be able to make my shadows correctly, I made a color scale by mixing my pencil. Then, I made a miniature for the double page illustration. Let's go over the big picture again and the little plan I drew quickly. In the miniature, this is important to find the objects present in the coloring. The quality of the drawing does not matter. The strategy is to immediately structure the shadows and the light. This way I can correct myself before starting to color. In my mouse page, I would like to see the center clearer I imagine the edge of the page with very dark colors, with streaks of light coming from the flowers. I really want to use this coloring to practice the lighting effect. That's what I want to see in the coloring. In short, the main attention should be light. The light that reflects on the head of the mouse also, on her friend's back, I don't know if the mushrooms will be bright. To accentuate the shadows, 
This time I will be using the color brown rather than black. I carry out a little test. I think that be using the brown color, the effect on the coloring will be warmer. I will be able to observe my scale of dark colors to obtain the result that I visualize. We have already reached step 3, the application of NeoColor 2. So far, I'm very happy with the video. It is structured and I hope it's easy for you to understand. If you need to see or buy the products used in this video, you have in the description the links Amazon United States, France and Canada. Thank you for encouraging me by making your purchases through these links. It absolutely costs you no more and you help me produce more videos. As protection on my page, I apply two coats of Mod Podge Ma Spray. To replace the Mod Podge, you can test a clear or satin acrylic coating. I advise you to try this product on a sheet and experiment before using it in your coloring. I really like this type of product because it leaves a black line. For those who have been following me for some time, you know I like very black line. To start the work, I need my Neo Color 2 pencil and my Sergeant Art. I'm going to need a bowl of water and I present you my favorite the folding bowl from Faber Castell. It is made of silicone and so it does no slip. It's great, the brush do not fall. He look very great and for me it is essential. I will also be using natural bristle brushes. It is a guilty pleasure to use them but I have to confess that I really love them. Its brush retains water a lot and I find it's easy to work with watercolor now. We can start the project. I have placed the camera in the very close shots to allow you see well. I'm starting with the very dark colors. I will use the five colors below. So, my number 180, Malachite Green, or in French, Vert Malachite, is the dominant color of my coloring. I will apply this color all over the background and I will mix it with the dark colors to create variation. Neo Color 2 is a very interesting product to work with, creamy and very pigmented. The difficulty that I always have with this product is that I make the colors pale. So my challenge in this coloring is to create very, very dark colors. There I apply my dominant color, Malachite Green. To have a very dark effect, I will add my Prussian Blue ou Bleu de Prusse on certain position so I do not apply in uniformly. To 
make color variations, I apply the pigment making small circles. So, it's a technique that I really appreciate. Oops! Be careful to insert a protective page behind your page of your coloring is very important. That way, when you use the water, this page will protect the rest of your coloring book. I apply my Prussian blue randomly. Now I had my Terre d'Ombre. Uh, this is the number 049. And apply I have no idea what color I'm going to use the small stones. I doesn't really matter at the moment. I apply my colors randomly and to have a dark color, you have to put a lot of pigments. In my opinion, this is the right recipe. Then I use my dark, dark brown company Sergeant Art again in different places. To finish, I apply again a layer of malachite green. As it is my dominant color, that's why I had it on all the other colors. With the Neo Color 2, we can put our color and add color on top. You can also watercolor and then add color. However, I advise you to let your page dry before adding water. So, here you let the artist talking to your mix the colors as you wish. It is important in coloring to have fun. No rules, just fun. We are, we are going to work with water. I take my biggest brush and to make a nice tip, we fill the brush with water and on your little cloth with the simply turn the brush like this. The colors mix well. It gives a nice contrast. Unfortunately, I found that the result is not dark enough, so I will have fun adding pigments. If I compare the darkness color on my reference paper, it can be seen that I'm not in the same color range. Let's go, Simon. You have a lot of work to do. I really like the idea of making a color scale before starting to color. It allow me to check if I have the correct tone of shade. To check if my color is dark enough, I use my color scale to check. And I'm very happy I'm on the right track. Here is my progress. I made the top of the coloring and I think I put the bright flowers. 
I have a little tip to share with you. My color chart here is really important to me. It's helped me to make my color bright. I have to keep working because the color is not yet exact. I put the color chart here for you to see the colors. I did the same job with the warm colors. I started to make my light. I will give you another little trick in this tutorial. I will help you place the light. I had a little bit of white through the yellow. I added the yellow all around the candles. I'm so sorry I have the little chicks who keeps singing for you. The way I'm going to work, I'm going to wet my brush and place it on the white, making a little circle towards the yellow. I also put yellow on the parts where the light of the candle is reflected. Now I want to place my colors paler and light before completing the coloring background. I resume my palette of warm colors and the precious stone I would like to have it in orange colors. My objective is to put in some strategic place of the pure orange color. I would like to have a harmonious and soft coloring. The light travels in the straight line. So, you see the light will hit the top of the stone. I made an excellent tutorial to help you place the shadows in the light. It is translated in French and in English. To finish the stone, I use a simple strategy. I choose a corner and I put dark in each corner randomly. Let's go to speed coloring in music.
Now I check if I am missing any light on any items. I use a stencil to help me. You can refer to this video tutorial if you want to know how to make your stencil. With the straight line, I adjust the reflection of the light. I check my two pages. Remember that there are many ways to color. There are no rules in the art. You are the boss. If you like coloring, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and activate the little notification bell. I still have to finish the background of the coloring and adjust the dark colors in the outline. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content of this video. Give me again a little chance. I will definitely improve my English. On these beautiful words, I tell you soon for a next video and good coloring to you. Bye bye.